so we finished off with atra tatra right now we will go to kidrisham as in qualifying how the qualifiers work okay adjectives uh, this is more like uh, not exactly adjectives it can be used as adjectives also adjective in english doesn't qualify visheshanam in uh, uh, sanskritam so uh, when you say the blue pot when i just say blue blue indicates only color in english it doesn't indicate the object itself so whereas in sanskritam when i say neelaha ghataha neelaha idi padarthah it indicates the object which has the color also so that's why lot of people Uh, refrain from using the word adjective for visheshanam and just call it as visheshanam itself it's easier um so uh, uh, ramesh mohdia can you start off today's class madam uh, in fact i didn't i didn't get the difference so okay maybe i just went on a little bit tangent later also yeah uh, yeah um okay when you say blue in english It, uh, uh, it is only the color it is not the object when i can just say neelaha tatra vartate or neelaha gachati then i am actually indicating the object that has the color neela whereas in uh, english when i say blue is going it's a nonsensical sentence so the adjective cannot be used as a noun whereas in sanskritam visheshanam can be used as a noun and kriya anvayitvam vartate The, it can connect with the kriya the verb okay so that's why we we will use the word visheshanam for it instead of uh, adjectival feature you can say okay uh, so you are saying blue blue is coming is a meaningful sentence in in sanskrit or not in english ha huh. because you are indicating the object something neelatva vishishtam padartham hmm Hmm? Ah. the property of blue yeah as yeah. is the color property of the blue correct okay idam kidrisham dasham of pathaha so to the 10th uh, lesson if you noticed each of these words are also uh, you know qualifying the pathaha dashamaha it's like uh, it's like uh, adena cardinal la cardinal ordinal one of those two right prathamaha prathamaha is the first dvitiya paathaha it can be in uh, pullingam strilingam or napunchakalingam so that would be the ordinal okay. the ordinal, ordinal numbers yeah. okay uh ramesh sir will you ah. start ah. yeah um uh, so idam kidrisham hmm. first one i am rameshaha <laughs> ah, yeah exactly adikna aramiki sir or just uh, Uh, idam idam is so idam is in napunsakalingam kidrisham is how is it how, uh, uh, what sort kidrisham you are uh, defining uh, uh, something you are you are giving it more adjectival features and making it into a particular object by giving it certain uh, attributes okay uh, so i am rameshah i am jeshtha so this i uh, this is ramesh i am jeshtha jeshtha means he is the eldest hmm uh, yeah uh, saha sureshah saha kanishtah hmm uh, so he, this is suresh and uh, he is the youngest ha uh, uh, saha ah uh, saha kanishtah saha is not this that no he uh, he uh. is kanish he is youngest ah uh, so you are talking of someone who is far off sah kanishtha he is the youngest huh. somebody who is paroksha not in our gana hmm. <laughs> right because we don't have so much of rabesh but okay so so <laughs> he is not there so the question for who is he is it uh, i am kidrisham is it i am kidrisha who is no no i am uh, i am kidrisha uh, correct good uh, this thing so kidrisha is also can, that also can be in pullinga strilinga and napunsakalinga kidrishi kidrishi kidrisha kidrisham look at the questions at the end of the lesson you will have ramesha kidrisha sita kidrishi patram kidrisham so that will also follow the linga 
but the question which Bhaskar ji asked was, how do you ask who is he? But that's not the question here. The question is, how... No, no, my bad. My bad. <laughs> what, is he, like? what is the type of the person is what I want to uh, What is he uh -huh. like? Yeah. Okay, mm. next one. Next, e next one. Yam e Sita, Yam e Jeshta. Hmm. Jeshta. Uh, Jeshta. Hmm. Uh, this is Sita and uh, she is uh, eldest. Yes, eldest. Uh, and then Sa Gita, Sa Kanishta. Hmm. Uh, she is the youngest. This is Gita. Uh, that is that Sa. that is Gita. Ah, Sa. That, that, sorry, sorry. Sa. Hmm. Uh, Sa is far away. Uh, yes. Sa. I keep seeing the picture. So. <laughs> ah, so that's why it is smaller actually. In... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I understand. Okay. Yeah. Uh, idam patram, idam haritam. Ah. Uh, idam patram, this is leaf and haritam, I think green. Yes, uh, this is uh, green. This is green. Mm. Tat, tat pushpam, <laughs> tat raktam. That flower and that flower is red. Mm, that is red. Uh, that is red. Again, here also, like in the earlier uh, uh, lessons, you can add asti bhavati okay, okay. Uh, for a verb. Yeah. But the question, Ramesh ji, is why did you say tat rakta? Why did you say tat rakta? Huh, did he say rakta? So I rakta, thought I heard I rakta. I'm just asking. Huh? No, no, no. no, no. Rakta. I said raktam. You did. You did asking why. Why? Hmm. Oh, raktam, uh, I, I assume that flower is neutral, so raktam... No, no, because the word pushpam is snapum sakalinga. You can have you can have pumlinga words for flower or strilinga words for flower also. But in this case, the word pushpam is napum sakalinga, and you're describing the 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 napum sakalinga word pushpam. Therefore, you chose raktam. Yeah. So up till okay. now, I have been following. There seems to be some logic in that how it ends and all that. So I'm following those things. Ah, ah. So just yeah. So but the, it's not because the flower is neuter gender. Because of the word pushpam, because there are words for flower which are thrilling also. Hmm. Kalika, Kalika. So, for example, yam lata, hmm. yam lakta. Exactly. Yes. Achha. But you are describing the word lata, you're not describing the, the the creeper. The creeper is neuter gender, right? In in English, in, in reality, biological gender versus the, just just one just reminder. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Next one is. I am Gajaha, Gajaha, Shyamaha, Asti. Ah, so now what is the difference between the earlier sentence and this sentence? I am Gajaha is, uh, what is the earlier sentence? No, so this is a, this is an elephant and ah. the elephant is Shyamaha, dark. Dark. Okay. So ah. here you you saw that it was only the Sarvanama Shabdam which was used as a qualifier here. The pronoun was used with the uh, Visheshana Padam. Read right? Idam Haritam. Uh, this is a, a leaf. This is green. Whereas here you can also use it with the noun itself. You don't need to always express it in this format. You can also say Patram Haritam, Pushpam Raktam. That is what he's saying here. So, Gajaha Shyamaha. You don't need to specifically use it only with I am Shyamaha or Saha Shyamaha. Saha Ajaha Ajaha Shwetaha. So, Saha, same thing. Saha Ajaha goat. Shwe mm. Ajaha Shwetaha. The goat is white. Yes. Uh, ajaha, shwetaha. So if you combine these two sentences together, you can say Saha Ajaha Shwetaha. That you can combine it into one sentence and say that goat is white. Okay. Uh, yeah. I am Shukaha Harati Harat Haritaha. Shukaha Haritaha. Uh, aham Shukaha Haritaha. I am I am. Uh, I am Shukaha Haritaha. And uh, so this is near uh, this uh, parrot. Is green. Mm. Uh, and then Saha yeah. Bakaha Bakaha Shwetaha. Mm. Uh, this this crane. That saha, is a crane. That, that Saha Saha is 
saha is uh, far away yes yes so that that crane that is a crane and that crane is white shweta okay mm -hmm. lata harita um lata is creeper harita gr greenish uh, harita, green harita green that's all so why it has harita because lata is in sri lingam we had that here right pushpam raktam and here we had either patram haritam uh, shukaha haritaha in pullinga and then for sri linga you have lata harita so these also follow the noun so whatever you use as a qualifier that word should also be said in the same linga as the noun itself is that clear uh, uh, um, trinam api haritam hmm. uh, trinam grass uh, api also hmm. um, haritam uh, green hmm. uh, trinam okay api. now just one note because this is the first time this is coming trinam you should write it as ma and with a stroke because it is followed by a vowel here okay this is the method that in all chitur books you will find that they don't pay attention to this rule all uh, everywhere you will find this uh, uh, mistake but please when you write it down follow this as you write it down okay trinam api haritam when you have that anuswara or ma uh, trinam patram and it follow it is followed by a vowel achaha any of a e u r l any of those vowels then change it to do not put the dot above use ma because there is a possibility of combining these two in a sandhi and saying trinamapi as one word okay? mm -hmm. that's why uh, kamalam raktam uh, lotus is red uh, and then denuhu kapila uh, the first ex exception that you are seeing now right denuhu denuhu even though it has visarga here what is it is pullinga strilinga or napunsakalinga that is pullinga ah uh, no no so if it was pullinga then what should this word be then that should be kapila or something kapila yeah. Yes. So since it is given as Kapila, we will have to assume that this is Strilinga. Is that clear? Uh, we, we will assume so, that the book is not making mistakes here. So Denuhu Kapila. Denu uh, cow uh, is Kapila. Kapila is actually brownish in color. So, so just to color. clarify, uh, you know, yeah. want to reiterate it. This Denu has nothing to do with Cow, cow being female, but the word denu itself is female. Hmm. So context one more time, but yes, you are actually right. Gender is associated with the word first rather than the the object behind first, the word. Yeah, but denu is a niyata strilinga word. Uh, hmm. So there are certain words which are near the strilingam. It is not there in pullinga. For pullingam, you will have to use vrishabhaha. Uh, it, yeah, it, there are other words for ox or something like that. You know, it, you don't. It's not a cow. When you say cow, it is invariably a female cow. The bull is the male version of it. So you have other words for bull. I think in this particular case, Dhenu uh, Shabdasya, uh, I, I think it can... Gauhu probably can have a Pullinga word, uh, is, but yeah. I don't think Dhenu has a... Uh, yes, Gauhu will have a Pullinga and Strilinga yeah, right. form. Dhenu yeah. does not have a Pullinga form. Yeah. Okay. Satyam, Satyam. Mm. But so I... So you cannot make a generalization that oo sound, anything that ending in oo sound is a female. You have guru who. Okay. Raghu who. Who by, uh, in biologically, we know they are males, right? So okay. even with that, and the word is also 
ಉಕಾರಾಂತ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಉಕಾರಾಂತ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಲಿಂಗ ಪದಂ ದೆನ್ ಹಯ ಶ್ವೇತ ಹಯ ಹಾರ್ಸ್ ಶ್ವೇತ ವೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹಾರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈಟ್ ಮಹಿಷ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಮಹಿಷಿ ಅಪಿ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಮಹಿಷ ಇಸ್ ದ ಬಫಲೋ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಇಸ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಮಹಿಷಿ ದ ಫೀಮೇಲ್ ಬಫಲೋ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಎಸ್ so now if you notice here api did not change at all even when you said it with trinam and with mahishi whether mahishi is in stree lingam or you have trinam here in napunsaka linga api will not change because api is abhyaya it is an indeclinable and that's so. all hmm? shiram shvetam shiram shiram shvetam ದಿ ಅಪಿ ಶ್ವೇತ ಶೀರಂ ಇಸ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈಟ್ ಕರ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಯೋಗಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಸ್ ಶ್ವೇತ ವೈಟ್ ನಾ ದಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟು ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಎಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಲೆಟರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಧಿ ದಧಿ ಐ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಧಿ ದಧಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಎಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಲೆಟರ್ ಧ now dha is actually you have dhi right so idh plus e is dhi so the actual ending letter is e here okay okay i got it mm-hmm. that's why you say this is an ikaranta napunsaka linga ha dadhi shabda ha mm-hmm. whereas kshiram you remove the ma and then r you have ir plus a so it goes by akaranta napunsaka linga just like how you had trinam trina shabdaha dadhi shabdaha is ikarantaha napunsaka linga how do you know it is napunsaka linga uh, you have never you don't know this word at all this is the first time you are encountering this word but you have this sentence dadhi api shvetam how do you realize that it is napunsaka linga because shvetam uh, okay. that's what i wanted okay uh, see these are all the clues indicators that you look for and try to deduce even if you don't know the word you use these to find out whether it is pullinga napunsaka linga or stree linga go by go from the known to unknown <laughs> ಅದ್ವೈತ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸಾರಿ ನದಿ ಪೆರುಗು ಪೆರುಗು ಮಜ್ಜಿಗ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ತಕ್ರಮ್ ಮಜ್ಜಿಗ ಐ ನೋ ಬಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈರ್ ಐ ಡಿನ್ ನೋ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕಾಲಿದಾಸ stuff and the part you to then i i fell fell in love with this language so ah, anyway. okay uh, ah, next one mm. next one i am i am mana dandaha mm. mana dandaha is a scale a ruler oh ah measurement and yeah. ah. the you know yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh. titav prutavyam eva mana danda mm. ah. in kamara sambha <laughs> ಮಾನದಂಡ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೆಷರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದಂಡ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ದಟ್ ಮೆಷರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೆಷರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾನದಂಡ ಮಾನದಂಡ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಸ ಅಪಿ ಮಾನದಂಡ ಸಹ ಅಪಿ ಅಪಿ ಮಾನದಂಡ ಸಹ ಅಪಿ ಮಾನದಂಡ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಕೇಲ್ ದಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅ ಸ್ಕೇಲ್ okay that is also a scale that huh. is also a scale far away saha dirga tamaha hmm. uh, uh, now dirga... they have not given the first part here you can include one more um let's put it like this why is it like this 
ಅಯಂ ದೀರ್ಘತರ ಸಹ ಅಪಿ ಮಾನದಂಡ ಸಹ ದೀರ್ಘತಮ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಫ್ರೇಸ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ರೈಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇರ್ಕಾ ಲೆಟ್ ಮೀ ಪಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಅಯಂ ಮಾನದಂಡ ಅಯಂ ದೀರ್ಘ ಸಹ ಅಪಿ ಮಾನದಂಡ ಸಹ ದೀರ್ಘತರ ಸಹ ಅಪಿ ಮಾನದಂಡ ಸಹ ದೀರ್ಘತಮ ಸೊ ಯುಲ್ ಗೋ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಒನ್ ಅಯಂ ದೀರ್ಘ ಅಯಂ ಮಾನದಂಡ ಅಯಂ ದೀರ್ಘ ದೀರ್ಘ ಸೊ ಸಹ ಅಪಿ ಮಾನದಂಡ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಸಹ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಹ ಅಪಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಯುಲ್ ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ದೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ಲಾಂಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಯ ಮಾನದಂಡ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಕೇಲ್ ಆರ್ ಅ ರೂಲರ್ ಅಯಂ ದೀರ್ಘ ದೀರ್ಘ ಇಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆಡ್ ತರ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆಡ್ ಟು ಎನಿ ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಸೇಸ್ ದೀರ್ಘ ತರ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾರಿಟಿವ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವೆರ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಾಂಗರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ತಮ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆಡ್ ತಮ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೀರ್ಘ ತಮ ಆಸ್ ದ ಲಾಂಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ uh basket mohode you had a you had a doubt right it's clear okay is it clear okay fine now it the next reminds me of uh, rishi's name but that's a completely different tama it is dirgha tamas iti rishi rishi he nama wow edla varu in which one i don't remember Dirga Tamas is one of the uh, uh, she's who comes in the one of, one of the writers of the Riks. Mm. Okay. Mm. Ah. Next one. What? Okay. Gajaha Stulaha. Mm. Uh, stulaha um, Stulam uh, um, stula. stula means fat. So in Advaita Vedanta Stula means gross items. Gross. <laughs> Sukshma is uh, subtle items. Don't confuse that here. This is very basic, uh, uh, large and uh, small uh, oh. animal. That's all. So, Gajaha, Sthulaha, elephant is large or fat. Okay. Ajaha, Sukshmaha. Uh-huh. Ajaha, Sukshmaha. Uh, the goat is small. Hmm. Uh, Pipilika, Sukshma. ನೀರಂ ಮಧುರ ಮಧುರಂ it should madhuram. be madhuram here and yeah. another thing also when you are ending and it is a full stop please write ma and the stroke here just as how it is written here change it here also okay ha neeram madhura madhuram 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 and then kshiram madhura taram mm. Um, mm. Well, it's more sweeter mm. uh, milk is more sweeter so water is sweet Uh, uh milk is sweeter and then madhu madhura tamam mm. uh, that is uh, honey is sweetest yes madhura tamam so, again tamam. here you had manadandaha where uh, which is in pullinga so you had dirgha tamaha dirgha taraha dirgha etc the same here neeram kshiram and madhu we saw dadhi which is an ikaranta napunsakalingam so this one is madhu is ukaranta ukaranta napansakalinga that clear talaha unnataha i guess talaha is a tree palm tree palm tree or mm. uh, talapatram okay the mm. uh, talaha unnataha is uh, very high tall. Uh, high tall tall uh, tall vataha ma- mahan vrikshaha Hmm. vataha is that uh, alamaram uh, banyan hmm. banyan tree mahan is big vrikshaha big uh, tree yes so banyan is a, a huge tree, hmm. tree, tree. why is it called mahanaha mahan 
Mahan is Mahatta Shabda. It's a Takaranta. Again, Mahan is Pullinga Shabda. Oh, okay. Mahati is Three Linga. Mahat is Napunsaka Linga. Himalaya Mahan Parvataha. Mm. Uh, Himalaya Mountain Maha, Mahan uh, Big uh, Parvataha is uh, mo uh, Mountain. Yes, so Himalayas is a huge mountain. Huge mountain. Now, Trishu Lingeshu Visheshanani Bodhani Yani. These are like the adjectival features in all three uh, lingas that we saw now. Okay. So, Rameshaha Kidrishaha. Uh, Bahaskar Maudia, can you answer? Rameshaha questions? Sukshmaha. Huh? Sukshmaha. Okay. Generally, Sukshma, you don't use it for people. You say, I've never heard peop for people. Rameshaha I'm just thinking whether you can use or not. Rameshaha Jeshtaha. Atra asti, paathetu asti. I'm just thinking if you can use Sukshma there. <laughs> Sukshma api. <laughs> Sukshma buddhi hi. Uh, Sukshma darsi. <laughs> uh, subtle mind. Mm. I think subtlety, sukshma and sthula, sthulaha is okay, but krishaha, when it comes to thin people, you don't say sukshmaha, for people you use the word krishaha, krishaha, krisham. Okay? Huh. Kri, kri is like Krishna. Right? Kri, kri, Krishna. Rukaranta. Hmm. So kri, krishaha, krishaha, sorry. Sha is Shiva Sha. Sorry, I, I didn't I didn't take any meaning out of it. I was just no, no, babe, it's true. It. See, these are all usages that you will come to know about when you are using, right? It's good. <laughs> Sureshaha kidrushaha, Sureshaha kanishtaha. Okay. Sita kidrushi, Sita jeshta. Hmm. Gita kidrushi, Gita kanishta. Patram kidrusham, Patram shwe harit. Haritam. No. Mm. White to... white leaves can be there when they are in autumn. No, when I, when I read <laughs> Patram, I, ha, I was paper. paper. Mm. Good, good, good. That's but fine. So paper Patram Shvetam. Right? Yes, it, it is letter. Please. Letter okay. is Patram. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pushpam Kidrusham Pushpam Raktam. Okay. Uh, Puravatta. Puravatta. Pura Oh, yata. Okay. Pura yata. Pura yata complete. Mm -hmm. So it's Ajaha, I think, Shwetaha. Ajaha, Shwetaha. Gajaha. Gajaha, Shyamaha. Mm -hmm. uh, dash, dash, Kapila. Uh, one is enough. Or if there are two dashes, you can use Ayam or Idam or Sa, Tat, Tatha. Saha, Denu, Kapila. Ah, kapila, now no, first. Saha, sa Denu, Kapila. Good. Bakaha is Pumlingam. Hmm. Bakaha Shuklaha. Okay. Kamalam. Kamala. What is Kamala? Kamalam only. Kamalam. Yeah. Kamalam. Uh, two words after that. Oh. Hmm. Haritam Api. Kamalam Api. Haritam. No, okay. <laughs> I don't know. You can say Kamalam Raktam Asti. Uh, Kamalam Haritam. Uh, green Lotus. Okay. Uh, Kamalam <laughs> Haritam Asti Bhavati. Dadi Shukla Bhavati or Shvetam Bhavati. Dadi Shuklam is, uh, Shvetam Dadi. Ikaranta Napunsakalinga. Ikara. Napunsakalinga. So, verb doesn't matter. Dadi. Um, Shuklam then. That is uh, yeah. Shvetam Bhavati. Okay. Madhu. Madhu is Pumlingam? No. Again, Madhu. it's Napunsakalingam. Madhu. If it is Pumlinga, it would have been Madhu. But it is not. Madhu. Oh, okay. Without any Visarga, it is an Ukaranta Napunsakalinga Shapta. Okay. Madhu. Um, Shyamam. No, Madhu is, it's Madhura Tamam. Shyamam, it's actually golden in color. Suvarna Varnam, no? Oh, Madhu I'm, is honey, is it? Okay. Honey. Hmm. I don't know, what, what is gold called? I don't know. 
ಮಧುರತಮ Ajaha, the goat is white. Hayaha, api, shvetaha. So it is like a, in any language where you use, this is also, that's how you use it here also. So first you say, goat is white, uh, horse is also white. Patram haritam, uh, trinam api, haritam. Uh, leaf is uh, green, the grass is also green. Hmm. Ah, now, the, the, how do you explain the tarap and tamap? So, ime manadandaha. Ime manadandaha. We have done this before in the earlier uh, lesson. So, what is the meaning of it? Ime? Punlinga ba, ba, bi, what is bahula? Hmm. Bahu vachanam. Bahu vachanam, yeah. Yes. So, Bahu these vachanam, are... Bahu vachanam, manadandaha. Uh, so, these are rulers. Eshu ayam dirghaha. You have not encountered this. So, among these... rulers which are here i am dirghaha you are pointing out to one particular ruler and saying this is long saha tu dirghatamaha you are pointing to another one and say that is the longest so as a comparative and superlative degree among a couple of rulers that you have you can show this difference with tarap and tamap the same tara and tama can join with anything like we saw here madhuram madhurataram madhuratamam i can also say uh, dantaha shvetaha shankaha shveta taraha meghaha shveta tamaha so cloud is yeah. the whitest Com- compare it to superlative degree so superlative yes mm-hmm. so in these three vrikshaha mahan a tree is great when i want to join tarap with it by default i go to the uh, uh, pullinga form of sorry napunsakalingam form of it which is mahat so mahat taraha mahat tamaha i can't say mahan taraha mahan tamaha the uh, pullinga uh, or the strilingam should come at the end of tara and tama it cannot come within the word because tara and tama are not words by itself they have to join other proper words and then the suffix will come only at the end for example if it is napunsakalingam there say patram mm. mahan right then becomes patram is mahat it cannot be mahan mahan is a pullinga word pullinga word okay mahat okay. patram mahat and then mahattaram is that yes correct? Yes, correct. And Mahattara. Talapatram Mahattara. Mahattaram. Mm-hmm. Ah, Kamalapatram Mahattamam. A lotus leaf is bigger, biggest. Uh, the why I pointed that out is, see for example, if you take Neeram Madhuram and I want to say Nadhi, Nadhi Madhura Tara. I can't say Madhura Tara. you don't bring in that feminine uh, part here in the middle it has to come only at the end so when you said uh, the suffixes tara and tama which you which you which you're discussing here sometimes you talked about it as tarap and tamap because simply because in pandian terms you yeah. you tag that this all but, but it doesn't make any difference it's is you still mean tara and you still mean tama so you can we yeah. can ignore that particular designation right yeah 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 and and what is that's the by two? root huh and the two satu ah satu aduvo enil abdin tamil la solluvom illa so two dhyatireka veras oh i am dirghaha this is uh-huh. long whereas that on the oh. other hand that is the longest mm. okay idu idu neelam aduvo enral abadina solrachu and the tu becomes a distinguisher whereas okay. in contradiction or you can say anal right anal adu 
వ్యతిరేక శబ్దా దీస్ ఆర్ ఫర్ యువర్ ఇట్ కమ్ ఫర్ ది ఎగ్జామ్ ఆల్సో వ్యతిరేక శబ్ద ఇస్ లైక్ ఆపోజిట్స్ సో జ్యేష్ఠ కనిష్ట శ్వేతం శ్యామం స్థూల సూక్ష్మ these are all opposites for you as in you can take out these and make a note as in when you go through the lessons and put it uh, separately so in the vyatireka and solracha it's basically the word vyatireka means something that's distinct from something else right it doesn't necessarily yeah. have to be opposite technically speaking yes right? it's not opposite Mm. So, yeah. if, if you want to truly say opposite, then Viparita Artha was a little bit of a deal, what do you want to use? No, we are talking about Vyatirekam. That's right. Many places. Sukham, ah. Dukham are Vyatireka. Ah. Are you talking about opposite and antonyms? Yes, yes. How do you, what is the word for antonym? So, the word here is Vyatireka Shabda means an, uh, an antonym. Hmm. But, antonym? Sin- synonym is the same meaning, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, what is the word for antonym? It's a different... meaning na sola opposite than opposite is a colloquial term Oppo. for is a more uh, uh, elementary school term whereas antonym is a high school term abrida enak thondrathu correct correct yeah, yeah you're right what i'm saying is vyatireka doesn't necessarily have to be opposite usually mm. right here it's used the range you, of course you can in this context you can mean it's opposite mm. also so But give me a, an example where it is not opposite uh excluded from this group yatirichyate iti right a meaning mm-hmm. aba excluded a irundalum it is something which is different from this group than eh different so this... different a different in sorache doesn't have to be opposite just different mm-hmm. yeah apdi na so it won't you can't have pita opposite is putra uh not really opposites they are distinct from each other distinct from each other okay no so, so what he is saying is uh, shwetam can be then you can put green also green oh, is right, different exactly. from white that's yeah that you're correct, just correct 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 and the avadi you have to separate mm. it out right but here okay you're taking it as opposite here but i but what i'm what i mean is like in, in some books i have seen different words for the word opposite not just mm. right. viparita artha or something like that like the probably the meaning yeah mm. I think Vyatireka Padam is just something that is distinct. Yeah, distinct. Yeah, I mean, okay. Exactly. Nice. Right. So, Pariyayaha is synonyms here. And antonyms is Vyatireka Shabdaha. Mana Dandaha, Matra Dandaha. Ah, meter. Okay. I don't know this. Matra is also measuring. Kilometer, meter, tat. Andamadriya, Cheri. పూర్వత్ర <laughs> అనంతరమేవ విశేషం వర్తే పూర్వం నాస్తి ఉద్దేశ విధేయ భావం వేర్ వాట్ ఆర్ యూ ఇండికేటింగ్ అండ్ సేమ్ వేర్ ఇస్ యువర్ ఎంఫసిస్ ఇన్ అంటెన్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ so if the emphasis is on sweetness let's say neeram madhuram i know something before i know water but i am qualifying it and i am indicating and saying that okay the water that i know is sweet sorry madhuram has to be later now himalayaha parvataha iti aham janami mahan parvataha mahan parvataha so mahan becomes a qualifier for the parvatam i want to say himalayaha parvataha iti janami himalayaha mahan parvataha asti i want to also qualify it as a parvata which is great but my 
स्ट्रेस इज ऑन पर्वतम ऐ वॉन्ट टू से दट हिमालय पर्वत अस्त कीदृश पर्वत हिमालय पर्वत महान अस्ट इट इज हाउ हाउ इज द मौंटन हिमालय के बदला यू विल से हाउ वाट सर्ट ऑफ अ मौंटन इज दिस Uh, is it not true that the previous sentence should have some reference to himalaya in this case the speaker the speaker assumes that you know the word himalaya you know what himalaya is and since the speaker and the and the listener already know the first word himalaya the speaker is adding something new in the yeah. second part in the predicate so the subject is usually that which is the known thing the predicate which is the vidheya is the unknown the agnyata vishaya hai so that's what i think bagini is trying to say but it's got mm. nothing to do with vishesha visheshanam right that's it sub uddesha vidheya is isn't it a different concept it's the that? same thing visheshanam and uh, noun usually the uddesha is your noun ghataha uh-huh. uh-huh. the vidheyam is the neelaha ghataha uh-huh. neela part uh-huh. is always the visheshanam is always the vidheya part ah uh-huh. so you're extending it uh, okay so okay okay so it's not just in a sentence but even in this vishesha visheshana concept you can take uddesha vidheya concept okay got yeah it. yeah so you would put the known thing first and the new thing that you are adding on as the later position as the later position so but if i want the... to say for example just one thing ajaha so i know ajaha shvetaha i am you know a goat and i am telling you that it is white so ajaha yat bhavati janati yam bhavati janati saha ajaha shvetaha now you want to know what is that white goat doing Shweta ajaha dhavati. Then I already know that that goat is white. So tatra I can add it before because the visheshanam it qualifies it. So the shweta ajaha is already known now. Dhavati is something that I don't know, so I add it later. So in that case, when both when it's already known shweta ajaha, you can also as you can also say ajaha shweta ha. Kimartam tatana kriyate praye kavi. वाल्मीकिण i am reading right a okay. question is the same thing right the visheshanam i see it to be written somewhere else for the noun uh, poetry follows a different rule you have okay. that's why that's you have question. something it, called it only rule for learning yeah not <laughs> no, for kavyam so right. it's not for kavyam so kavyam there is a process called anvaya krama mm. we will read mm. it when we come to ramakatha yeah, yeah. so you will have to first do 1 2 3 4 and rearrange and put it in one prose order for you to understand <laughs> yeah, yeah got it yeah. it follows meter so you need the words in certain ways that's all okay i think this lesson is over now ha huh. i'll stop there